Are you tired of creating the same type of bulletin every single week? Do you even wonder if people read the bulletins that go out? Hi, my name is Charmaine Adams, and I am the Director of Communications at the Pastoral Center. And today I want to talk to you about some tips that will guide you in making compelling, beautiful, amazing bulletins. There are three points I'd like to start out with. Connection. You want to make sure that the parishioners and visitors feel connected to the bulletin. Number two, that the bulletin is meaningful. Number three, that the bulletin is beautiful. Beautiful with color, with pictures, with fonts, with boldness. So let's get started. It's important to feature stories in your bulletin. Stories of parishioners, possibly Eucharistic ministers, someone that may be on the hospitality team, or maybe someone that serves in the nursery. It doesn't even have to be part of a ministry team. Just as long as you can find someone in your parish to tell a lighthearted story to engage the audience. Let me show you an example. I recently saw this in a bulletin. This story is about how a couple joined the Catholic Church. The next one I would like to show you is one that is engaging families, talking about children being welcome at Mass. This layout is really nice because it doesn't have a lot of content. Quotes from parishioners are always great because it's giving people an opportunity to read about what others are thinking. Including church staff members' photos is such a great presentation. That way people can feel like they know who you are when they see you. And it's just a nice touch. A call to action in a bulletin is really nice because you're asking them to do something. So perhaps you're saying, send in photos of, of a recent vacation that you took. Here's one. Let visuals and pictures tell the story. That will allow you to compile your content and engage your parishioners and visitors. I hope you enjoyed these tips. We'll see you next time.